Hello everybody, Sift here again with another Backpack Hero run. And uh, yeah, let's see what we're gonna get today. Now, uh, there has been running an infinite live stream for me. Uh, that is not uh, done, like uh, I am still running that. Uh, although I will be live streaming it once in a while whenever I, you know, decide to. But that save file is now protected and uh, pushed aside somewhere in my PC. And uh, yeah, we will continue that run when the time comes. I mean, in live streams that is. You know, just for the funs and memes with all the people around. But uh, for now, we're gonna continue here with, um, you know, new runs, new runs. Let's get a few new runs. I don't wanna get stuck. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> you know what? We got a very early piggy bank. So, uh, first of all, this does six and this does seven for one spot instead of two. Well, it doesn't matter. We're gonna go boots and boots. Boots and boots. Uh, let's throw this away for a moment. This is three block. How much is this gonna add? Three plus zero. Oof. Okay, let's go with shield. Uh, let's go with this. Now, maybe today we're gonna do a money run. You know, there are a few items that actually care about money. Let's take the cleaver though, because it is a rare item, so we can easily sell it. There's no reason not to actually get it, you know? Uh, we will get cursed, but it's okay. I do prefer getting the XP. Over uh, caring about losing two life. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm not even gonna lose two life. I can keep that there. And smack. Uh, block. And I would say block again. I need to throw away the curse as fast as possible. This slow, too, too slow per turn is not gonna be a good thing. Uh, I can destroy this guy. I will get another curse pretty much. Uh, this, uh, this I can throw away. This I can take two damage from. Let's uh, let's start block. Oh, 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 the block's not gonna do its job. This piece is gonna do bad. Okay, we're done. Four spaces. Let's go below as we most of the time go. Uh, let's also get a key and a lucky ring. That lucky ring's definitely gonna carry us and also a bit of healing that I will enjoy gaining. I mean, the key is not really useful right now, but the rest is uh, even more trash. Okay, we found another lucky ring, extremely important. And we also got this thing, which is we start with one more armor. And I could theoretically pick up the seasoning, but. Yeah, I really think I need it. At the end of the day, it's not like um, the end has arrived. I'm gonna first amass a bit of money in the good event because the event can be anything, and uh, that means it can also be something that needs money, you know, to function. So we're gonna just avoid the event for now. Let's go shield and smack, smack. We're gonna go shield, shield next turn. Shield, shield, smack. Yeah, very easy fights here in general, you know, the classic beginning of this game. As always, pretty chill, pretty, pretty similar. But uh, yeah, we're gonna continue and slowly build up the, this this thing. Oh, we got, a, we got a tunic here that I could theoretically pick up. Throw away the armor. I would say let's do that. Let's reorganize, throw away the armor, take the tunic. Uh, also, make sure that the boots are next to the tunic. So I would say something like this. Yeah, that's pretty good. I should be gaining a similar armor, if not more, without even pressing the button. Yeah. Pro uh, I was previously gaining 5 per turn. Wow, this guy is scaling pretty quickly. <laughs> uh, he's about to smack us for even more now. 17 damage. Somebody was saying that you can cheese the fight. Somebody told me in one comment that actually there is even more min max than you think you can actually go with an old log on something else and do an infinite combo and whenever an item appears on your left you can just try to pick it up and slowly build up your you know your stats and become more stronger and stronger and stronger like the argument wasn't that big the argument was just like the main min max way is uh, that you can just stay in a fight forever and just uh, pick up whatever items appear until you get everything that you want and then you have a build uh, you know uh, a perfect run, I guess. But uh, yeah, obviously that is wrong because opponents scale. You know, just saying. You know, it's not only the opponents that have... That gain rage. That scale, all opponents scale. And not only in the offensive part, but also in the defensive part. Like, they also gain more defense. Let's go this path. Uh, yeah, I think that seems decent. <laughs> ninja Tabby. Okay, we're, we're, we're picking up the Ninja Tabby. <laughs> Forget the armor system. We definitely go pick up the best things. What is this, man? What is even happening with our luck today? What is even happening with our luck today? This is uh, once again a god run. I mean, it seems like it. Not um, Maybe, maybe, maybe. There is a chance it's not going to be a god run. We're going to keep this for the boss because right now I don't even do damage. I mean, I do do damage. I do do damage. I do do damage. Ooh. I do damage, but not enough, I think. 
Also, I think Vampirism pierces dodge, so there is a good chance that the Vampires are actually gonna smack us for a lot of damage. Uh, this is pretty useless at this point. Man, this could have been also a godlike build if I kept the shields we had. I mean, I can revert back to it. I can go to this. I can do something like this. What armor is this? This is 4 plus 8. 12. I mean, nah, let's just keep the 1 defenses enough to protect us. There are a bunch of rare things here. Man, the lucky rings are carrying us, as always. I mean, that's their job, literally. Yes, their job is literally to carry us. Let's, uh, let's go sell. Because this is pretty meh. I mean, I can keep it. Dang it, I wanted to sell it. <laughs> we're gonna definitely sh sell the shield, though. And we're also gonna sell the queen cleaver. I'm not gonna go cleavers. I'm on purpose, I'm not gonna go cleavers. On purpose. Now, if we lose the run because of this on purpose play of my, then so be it. But I am running an infinite cleaver run anyway, so I don't think there was like any main reason to do that. I want to do a gold run, man. I want to do a gold run. Okay, we can get the spear if need be. Definitely better than the sword. Good uh, dodge. <laughs> Why are you getting me with no What? What? I'm gonna take those. Okay. Uh, and then we're gonna take this to get a good, a better weapon. So we throw this away. This joins. This has become uncommon, by the way. And now this goes away. And we get two ninja armor. Yep, those ninja costumes. Those actually stack. So, uh, just like that, I have become a ninja. I have become a ninja. Would it be awesome if there were ninja weapons in this game? I mean... Um, isn't there, there is like a weapon that poisons opponents. If I could get that, it would be really thematic for a ninja. Also, as far as I know, ninja also use bows. So if I find like a crossbow, I could do like a poison build or something. Okay, most of you guys are not going to actually be able to attack us. Ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Zero damage taken. The only thing that's most likely going to attack us, as I said, is vampirism, poison, burn. Those three things are most likely going to kill us. So we definitely need to find something that's going to improve our DPS heavily. Otherwise, we're gonna go rush into the third act and just die. I will still keep the run, though, even if it's a dead run. What? What is happening? Why do I gain three block? What is giving me the other block? Why? Why? Does block go only down by one every turn? Wait, is... I thought block just removes itself completely at the end of the turn, but seems like block goes one uh, down by one every turn. Poison again instead of damage. I would say yes. Uh, at the end of the day, poison does pretty much the same thing. I could also go for weakness. Ah, this does more damage, and I'm always gonna use it three times. But now it's also does poison damage, which is uh, might not be good here, but it's gonna be good in boss fights. Like here, it's literally the same, the same thing DPS wise. I should have attacked the back first. Yeah, I should have attacked the back first. So here it is the same thing DPS wise because I mean you lose one damage, but you gain one poison, and that poison you gain. Uh, well, practically speaking, it's the same thing because poison triggers at the start of the opponent's turn. So instead of, you know, the damage happening on your turn, it just happens on the start of the opponent's turn. So it's practically the same thing, right? Uh, yeah, we don't need anything here. I could get the key just because. Not that I actually need it, but, you know, just because. I might as well also pick up, you know, some consumables here and there. Some healing, you know. Okay, this guy is not... Uh, he is actually gonna damage us, unless we actually assassinate. Okay, I don't see us assassinating, so we're gonna go with heal. I know I could drink this. Um, I know I could drink this. The end of discussion. I'm not gonna kill him here, because he's only attacking twice, and I do have do dodge, so might as well get the use out of my healing. And now here we assassinate. And at the end of the day, I'm out with more than I had. Let's go even more energy once again, for the boss fight mainly. I could go archer. Ooh, oh, what is this? What is Crimson Energy? I would say we go for the Crimson Energy. Maybe we're gonna roll it. Maybe we're gonna roll the, the, the curse and just lose five life. Who cares? Crimson Energy. Nope, we rolled the curse. Easy predict. Well, actually, we curled the Berserker. We rolled the Berserker's Ring. Crits deal two damage to self. Every time you attack, this item gets massive two damage. Plus one damage to self this turn. Ah, uh, no, I still want the money build. I still want the money build. Let's still keep in mind the plan. Let's not fail our plan. Now, there is, once again, a good chance that we're literally not going to gain the money build. First of all, let's kill the front line as the back line only attacks once per turn. Uh, should I take a few hits? No, actually, let's avoid the few hits. That's the power of the water flask. You just use it however much you want. And I actually do believe that dodge stacks up. Wait, was that just a bug? What, what's happening here? I have one dodge now. I guess... Yeah, I guess dodge goes down by one. Ooh, we found the golden bow. This could be even more heavily invested into money gain. 
But archery is really hard to control. Yeah, archery is really hard to handle with the two ninja costumes. That's actually... Well, that was a bad. That was a bad. Uh, let's use two. Uh, let's use one more. Why not? This guy's toast, obviously, from poison. No reason to actually lose life. We're gonna run Lucky Ring. I'm gonna throw this. Actually, no, I'm gonna throw a key away. We're obviously gonna stack as many Lucky Rings as possible. Especially if I want to find, like, some kind of legendary. Oh, -ho. what is this? It's the Oxum Axe. Okay. I don't know how to force this. We tried different things in on the live stream. I think, like, this sends it off to the right. Back, back in the day, this was sending it off to the second spot. I think this sends it off to the second spot. I'm not exactly sure. It doesn't obviously look like it, but for some reason, that's what I remember from the live stream. Yep, my memory is actually correct. Yep, I have good memory. Unbelievable. <laughs> and we got the item that I wanted, <laughs> literally. It's full damage. Uh, costs a coin to use, though. And then this item gets plus one damage for each adjacent item. Uh, I'm obviously not going to throw away my whole build here. Uh, I should have used the key. Uh, I should have used the key. I guess we can do without food for a moment. I guess we can go without food for a moment. Let's go here. I want to push this into this more. I want to have it as much surrounded as possible. Is it all directions? Is it diagonal too? For each adjacent item. Okay, this is the maximum amount it can hit. One down, two down, three, four, five, six. The same item, seven. Yep, this is literally the best this thing can get. And I'm also adding poison to it. So now I can use this as a machine gun. Like, I can, I'm the rich ninja. This is the rich ninja build. <laughs> Pretty much. Let's go use the key. I should have obviously used it before, but whatever, man. Classic Sift mistake, but it is what it is. Let's obviously get Max health. But if you need the money. Ah, not really. I don't really need the money. The money is for uh, emergencies only. Like, if I see an opponent being a poison snake or, you know, trying to burn us, then we spam this thing and assassinate. But otherwise... We're pretty chill. Okay, this guy can only attack once per turn, so this is also a joke fight. He is completely outscaled, outclassed, out everything. He is out everything. Man, this is the rich ninja build, I'm telling you. <laughs> the pay to win ninja build. I love it. I love it. I love the fact that we have going that for us. We're practically mortal, other than, you know, poison. I guess theoretically mortal. Yeah, we are theoretically mortal. Practically, we can still die. Uh, all weapons get this effect applied and use the sentence are anchored for two combats. Honestly, I don't want that. Um, I could take this because I do have two gems and both of them are connected to the Oxum Axe. So that's going to give plus damage to the Oxum Axe. But I think I want to actually go for this. Like, uh, spikes seem to be the main problem here. And if I fight the final boss that is the spike boss, I will be, I will be forced to play as slow as possible. And that is literally the opposite of what I want to actually do, you know, with the build I have. So I would say, let's take the flame that's just going to protect us from uh, the one thing that's most likely going to kill us. Oh, we got it up here. Eight damage. On take damage, this island is plus one, seven damage. This combat. I mean, I can do this. I can take the rapier, which uh, does not scale as good as the brutal spear does. That uh, We have to be honest about that. But if an opponent somehow damages us, then we're going to revert and kill him faster, which I think is a good play. Because if you think about it, opponents should not be able to damage us. But if they somehow damage us through poison or burn or whatever, then we will have a weapon that will be definitely doing more damage than what the Brutal Spear does. Because just with taking damage once, this is going to scale for sure. And especially if we do the combo with the Cleansing Flame, right? Because even the final boss that um, has spikes, even that boss, when it attacks you, you will get uh, when you attack it even when you have the flame you still get damaged by one right you have to hit it to remove the spikes that it has so yeah there's that let's smack here in the front is this two energy <laughs> uh why is this a two energy weapon this isn't even that good this is such a trash weapon wow it's a change of plans we're gonna throw this away obviously oh i can't even kill the front line oof Oof, 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 oof. Yeah, that's why two cost weapons are complete trash. That's why two com. Ah, you know what? I think the time has come to spend some money. Let's spend some money. This guy is uh, borderline dead. And this guy is also dead. Uh, I can wait a bit. I can wait a bit. He has poison, so there is no rush on my side. And I can just maintain the poison and he's toast. Yeah. 
Oh, we got it. I, I, I mean, we literally got exactly what I wanted. I have said before that for you to do the gold run, you have to pick up piggy banks. And well, look at this. If it isn't piggy banks. And not only that, I also got the, in my opinion, best spell weapon in the game. The ethereal wand. Although, like, it's not going to help us right now because we don't have room. And I definitely want to keep going with what we have. Do I have a key? I have a key here. But I don't have room to throw anything away, so I guess this over here has to wait. Let's go to shop. I am already rich anyway. Uh, what is this? A 2 energy, 20 damage weapon. 2 energy, 20 damage, 2 energy. You know what? I think this is like complete trash. I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure people are like, no, Sif, it's actually good. No, I don't think so. I think this is very bad. So let's throw this away. Let's pick up the dagger. And let's also pick up this thing to maybe got a god weapon, you know. And we still maintain our high amount of coinage as long as we can kill opponents. And at the end of the day, like, this is going to be enough. So let's go here. Let's go smack, smack. I'm going to spend a bit of coinage here. Uh, yeah, we're going to about to get hit like a million times. But Sift, you just said you're going to counter getting hit a million times. You did the opposite of what you said. Now you are getting countered yourself. I'm not getting countered. Let's continue. I just need to find a weapon. The bad thing was not reading that it costed 3 energy for that weapon. That was like the one mistake I did. By the way, I'm slowly poisoning them. That is what I'm doing over here. Uh, and also with the greater luck that I just consumed, I think we will be lucky enough to gain exactly what we want. With it, it's like an insane weapon. Look at this legendary weapon incoming. Legendary weapon incoming. Let's go. Oh, it is a rare weapon though. It costs 2 energy though. <laughs> Well, uh, we don't really have a good weapon here. I guess we stick to the dagger. Might as well pick this up just to have something to expand the last energy point. Any keys? No keys. Let's go fight. A bat. This is the fight that I was afraid of. It does the poison actually hit through the dodge. That's the main question. It does not. Okay, we are safe-ish. They are obviously poisoning us. So might as well spend a bit of money to assassinate here. Yeah, let's spend one more end the turn. This guy's toast. Very nice. We got another legendary weapon there. Three spaces. I would say one, two, and uh, three, I guess. Okay, we got something that boosts weapons. We're obviously going to put this here. So now my gold power machine is insane. I can also have the cleaver here. So now I can use this cleaver in accordance and it will just do a bit of damage. I didn't want to do a cleaver build. Just so you guys know, if I find something better to replace the cleavers with, I will. But right now I need something so that I can, you know, do damage. Because right now the build is pretty inconsistent because reading comprehension Sif did not actually do his job. Let's pick up the... Uh, let's pick up the poison. Like, we're not a really defensive build. Spikes don't even work like in this build at all because dodge does not trigger spikes. We got even more poison. And we also got a weapon that I can use very often. Okay, I would say I, I'm going to take this weapon that I can use often. Uh, I know it's all fun and games with these things. But uh, honestly, I said I want to force myself to not go cleavers. So we're going to pick this thing up just so that we hammer with the club a few opponents. I could also go for this thing. Each turn this item gets plus one damage. This combat. This combat. Each turn this combat. This is very mediocre. Adjacent weapons. And, I, and because it's sideways, I can't even put it... Uh, so that it gets hit by the period out. Also, let's swap these two so both of them get the buff. Yeah, like because it's sideways. I could have it like this. Yeah, and the period out be there. I think I can take this. I think I can take the Tilted Sword. It only costs 10. Yeah, it costs 10 and it's definitely burned out of the club. So let's give this back for 6. Let's put this here and take the Tilted Sword. Because why not? Why not? How much did this cost? 1? Okay, let's keep this on our side then. This does 8 plus 1 poison. And this does 8 plus 2 poison. So first attack is this and then the other one. Also, let's flip these so that this gets one more poison and one less damage. Uh, you know what? Honestly, it's even better if I can put it down here. Which means I need to find a way to put the ninja armor somewhere. Yeah, that's just not happening. That's just straight up not happening. At least not right now. Yeah, not, at least not right now. So let's go here and let's actually continue with what we had going for us. Very nice, very nice. Imagine if I left something behind. So right now I have the insane uh, axe for at least 3D smacks if I wanted to. So we got the assassination ready. Let's see what these guys do. Uh, let's try to get rid of whatever does not attack and tries to do something fancy. Because we don't want to deal with it. Okay, this guy's toast. Zero damage from this guy, zero damage from this guy. Very nice, very clean. This guy's about to curse us, which is pretty bad. I don't want to get cursed. Let's assassinate here. Yep. Two coinage was fair game, I think. 
And now I'm gonna gain six back. As oh, four back. Was the piggy bank always two coins? I thought it was three coins for some reason. Whoop, we got something insane here. I'm definitely gonna pick that up. There is no doubt in my mind. And uh, I'm gonna let this guy attack us. Doesn't really matter. Whoop, what is this? Three haste to self on weapon kills an enemy. Ah, I don't really need haste. If anything, I don't need haste at all. Not. <laughs> what do you mean you don't really need haste? You just don't need haste. <laughs> Let's go with... Where could I put this so it's useful on everything? I mean, theoretically, I can put it here. Just plus two damage on the Oak Song. And the others get also the buff. I say theoretically, but I actually mean practically. Yep, I think this is better like this. The, these do the poison. This does not do poison. This is just I smack you a bunch of times and you die. Or we can just flip these and uh, allow this to continue doing poison while also both of these do poison. I think that's fair. Uh, also, I can reflip this over here. Yep, and then I can do... I, I, I don't know how I could fix this. I don't see a real way of fixing this. I mean, I could flip this to the other side, but then that would not get the poison buff. This gets the most buffs. Yeah, that's the most important part. This thing getting the buffs. And I want this to get this buff uh, instead of the poison. Because at the end of the day, this is more DPS-wise. Yeah, I'm gonna stick to this. I don't think I need to min-max further. Uh, obviously, I'm pretty sure people in the chat can find the super perfect... Uh, when I say chat, I mean the comments. The perfect configuration of how to make this a god build but uh i don't need to just uh by the way did i hit the wrong one well the curse of poison you know what let's just assassinate the cursing i don't want to deal with curses i know we lost a bit of money it's a bit unlucky that we're finding so many slimes that counter us okay now this does more but this still does poison what is this six rage on kill not really useful Rabbit Armadillo across my mind. This fight should be easier. Yeah, this fight should theoretically be easier. So we will lose a bit of life here. Okay, but we will gain... I mean, after the first round that we will lose like 14 life. After this round, we should not lose life anymore. Okay, everything's dead. I mean, not everything's dead, but still, we won't lose any more life. I hope we gain... Oh man, we're very far away from levels. Man, since the, since the change on the patch, you gain levels very slowly. Like, even if you try to just straight up build up the old bag, it's a lot harder... I don't, I, I don't agree with this that much. Like, it feels like they balanced it in a way that for specifically Endless. But now you can't go back to the old bag size before Endless. Like, back in the day, the balance was in a way... Uh, made in a way where you always... And I really, really mean always... Uh, had max bag size as long as uh, you fought every single fight along the path. <laughs> we got a legendary bow. Now, though, that is no longer the case. Now you... You won't have the old maximum size if you... Let's assassinate. You won't have the old maximum size. Stick seven. What was I saying? Yeah, you won't have the old maximum size bag if you kill all the opponents before the final boss. That's what I'm trying to say. So, for example, if the old bag was, I don't know, six times five... And you try to literally do the same bag, like the 6x5 bag. Right now I have a 6x bag, by the way. Uh, then you, you won't be able to, like, straight up. It's, um... It, you can't get back to the old numbers. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, with three different versions for some reason. This guy's about to curse us. Okay, how much more do you need? Uh, okay, I can take the damage. I'm gonna go for healing on the healer anyway. Because I don't really have healing and I also don't have room to heal. By the way, as you see, dodge does stack if opponents don't attack you. <clears throat> okay, now I'm gonna spend a bit of smackaroni though. Okay, he's toast. We cost It costed us two to smack him. We got our healing at the end of the turn, although we don't have room. Most of these are useless. This is decent-ish to increase how many poison we do. But do I really want this? I mean, it only increases poison and doesn't increase damage. So that means it's good for slow burn attacks. I want to find maybe a better weapon. I want to find maybe a better weapon or maybe another piggy bank. You know, I, I want to find things that are relevant to our build. I don't think we need anything of those, really. Five gold heal. I think that's worth it. Continue. That's it. If you could have paid five gold to win these fights and not lose life, that would be the same. Nope. Go. Okay, this guy will never attack us, like ever. He doesn't apply poison, he doesn't apply anything. I'm starting to get afraid. I I'm starting to get afraid about the, the following fights. <clears throat> like, we don't have enough... Well, we don't have enough anything, to be honest. I think I should kill this guy first. 
Yeah, I think if this guy's gonna summon again now, we will have a problem. Let's try to get rid of this guy. Uh, the longer the fight goes, the better for us. Because at the end of the day, this thing is scaling one damage every turn, which in my opinion is really bad. But uh, yeah, we can't really do anything about that. The fact that it's bad. Uh, we're not about to get hit because we have three dodges. Very nice. This guy's obviously gonna uh, try to summon another one. If I'm able to... Yeah, this guy's dead. And this guy's gonna hit us for one. So he's gonna about to summon another two. So right now the race is how fast are they scaling in comparison... You know what? Let's just assassinate the boss. Just, just, just do it. Just spend like 10 coins and be done. It is what it is. It is what it is. Done. It costed us more than 20. It costed us like 13 coins. This guy's toast. Very nice. And these guys are leaving now. Very simple. Let's leave. I got three spaces. Let's go here. Okay, we got the bomb, which is obviously really good for us. We're going to take the bomb. Stopwatch. All weapons get this effect applied plus one damage this combat whenever they use them. So this is really good for the Oxong Axe, obviously, because every time I'm deciding to use it a million times, it's going to be so much more damage. I could also go for the conductor, but honestly, ah, ah. Not really. 25% damage is not that big of a difference. It is a difference. Don't get me wrong, but it's not a that big of a difference. This legendary weapon, we're going to take it just to sell it. You know, selling a legendary weapon is going to give us a few coinage here and there. The weapon I actually want to get is Doru. I want to get the weapon that says, the legendary weapon that says plus 15 damage every round, pretty much. Uh, we got a problem. Yeah, we will start needing to spend money every single fight from here on out. Which is really bad. We're gonna take 11. Yeah, like, we, we will start running out of money in a bit. I don't want to take that much damage. Ooh. You know what? I started believing that I should have some kind of consumables for protection. Uh, I guess the legendary fisher. Is there a shop here? No, there isn't even a shop on the map. So we're gonna throw that away and let's take consumables. And slowly start gaining consumables in general. Like, there is a very good chance that this uh, run is gonna die literally in this area. But I'm gonna try my best... I'm, uh, I'm still gonna upload it regardless of a win or a loss because at the end of the day this uh, this is like a fun idea to me the the whole money run although it wasn't really a successful uh, impl you know implementation of it or whatever you want to call it but still it is what it is man the bombs are really helping maybe I should take a few hits here and there the burn's gonna do five to it wait what wait did I dodge a burn Wait, can you dodge burns? If you can dodge... Whoa, let's go. Now the run is actually alive. And the four damage. And weapons in this column. <laughs> wow. Um, well, this thing is plus one poison. I'm going to go with plus damage straight up. And uh, can I make this better? Theoretically, if I put this here, it's going to buff this, but it's not going to buff that. Can I, like, shove them to the right? No, I cannot really. Not really, really. Uh, I want this to be more buffed than anything else. The poison, it's good and all, but it's not as good. I still keep the lucky rings in case I change the tilted sword or the dagger to something else, maybe. Also, I started thinking I should not use the dagger at all. I should use the tilted sword more. Yeah, let's throw away the dagger. Because now that I got the clock, the stopwatch, now just spamming the same weapon is going to increase my damage more than, you know, using the dagger. So let's do that. And uh, let's get now consumable because why not? Well, I don't have energy. That's why not. <laughs> The fact that I got the 3 piggy bank is insane. It's insane to me. Let's actually attack this guy. Now I just need energy. Now I just need energy. Pass. Okay, so we know that now that burn actually gets blocked by dodge. That's insane. That's insane knowledge. That's insane knowledge and also good knowledge. You're bye-bye. Gonna gain our money back. <laughs> let's continue stacking damage upon damage. Uh, let's swap it over here for the coin. I would say... Let's actually put it here so it buffs both because this was not buffing. Now, this is not buffing this guy. Hey, you know what we're going to do? We're going to push the tabby to the left and we're going to do this thing. Damn plays. Not really that hard, though. And also, we can do the same thing over here. Yep, I think that's better. People that were screaming on your screens, are you happy now? Drop a like below if you now enjoy what you're seeing. And now, oh, I also found the ruby that I forgot. Are you now super happy? Are you super happy now? Now you can stop screaming, guys. Let's go. Uh, I'm also gonna do this and also this. You see, I'm 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 playing well. I'm doing stuff the correct way. Let's have the rings in the same um, area. I would like to also have the piggy banks in the same area, but it is what it is. <laughs> let's uh, let's go. I think now we're a lot better off. Reorganizing in this game is extremely important. Obviously, 
That's the game. Ooh, we found a pickaxe that could buff pretty much every anything. But uh, honestly speaking, I don't care about any of these other than maybe the legendary. But once again, there is no shop in this area. So even that legendary is useless. Let's go. Magical. Oh, wonderful. Okay, this guy survives. Pop. Dead. Pass. This guy should die from the next two attack. Once again, burn getting blocked by dodge is something I was not expecting. And I'm super happy exists. Well, I guess this guy's alive. Let's go. Aggregate the money. What is this? Can we use one time each turn? Adjacent weapons get the healing effect. Uh, not really. I mean, if I buff this thing, then I don't even take care about taking damage. But then I can't use it that often. It is good with Oak Strong Axe, though. Like, if I had, for example, three regenerative of these. Nah. It is good, don't get me wrong. But uh, I'm going to opt to avoid it because I obviously want to keep my piggy banks and I also want to keep my lucky rings. Once again, maybe we find a better weapon, you know, maybe, maybe X, Y, Z. You never know what's going to happen. We have 25 coins. So we have 25 chances of using the Oak Song Axe and then and then we're toast pretty much. I, I was checking if I was muted, man. That was a very good old panic moment. Living Shadow against Ferret Boss King. So if I go to the Living Shadow fight... This is definitely harder. I mean, I will have to go to both of them at the end of the day. Let's start with only triple smack without doing anything else. And now we're gonna see who does what. So we're gonna try to assassinate the curse bearer. Uh, let's go to sma three smack. Foo, that was three coins already down the drain. Which isn't really good. Which isn't really good. Okay. And that's another three, four. So we, caught, we, we paid seven for that fight and we're up to 26. Okay, so as long as I pay six coins... We are okay, because six coins we gain from the piggy banks, and then I'm also going to gain like a smidge more just because of the victory. But after the six coins, we will have a problem. So there is like a key here. There is a key door, and I do have find a key. I still don't believe that the key door is more worth it than, uh, let's go event, more worth it than, you know, the lucky rings. Oh, I found the door. This is what I wanted to pick up. Like first round, I don't care. Second round, I do a bunch more. I think I want this, and this is the Jade Axe. One energy and two coins for 14 damage. Adjacent weapons get plus one damage this turn. <laughs> I mean, use this thing twice. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get the Doru. We're gonna YOLO this, as always, because I'm lucky I'm gonna instantly get it. Nope, I'm gonna get, like, random things. Let's try again. And that's it, I'm not gonna spend any more because this is, like, every attack I do. Yes, I got it. Nope, I got the thing again. Well, that's useless. I'm not gonna spend any more money. As I said, it's really important to keep my money. Now, there is a shop, so theoretically I can like throw away two lucky rings to pick these up to make money out of it. But I still believe the same thing. I still believe that um, it's uh, it's better to have the lucky rings in the fights. Let's go what the shop sells. Okay, the shop sells apparel and also energy. Energy is important, especially with the stopwatch. This costs 35, I can't even buy it. And this costs 20, also expensive. No, I guess we're gonna just go fight. Feared boss. Hey, are you kidding right now? Are all the fights the same thing? Let's try it. Let's try it. Which of these two is easier to kill? This is who cares. Okay, let's go with the Ferret King first. He is about summon something, but theoretically we should be able to control the fight here. Uh, we should be able to do 52 damage. Yep, nice. As long as it's only two opponents alive per turn, I can easily, you know, amass damage. And then at some point assassinate. One coin down. A few more to go. I have three dodges. Okay. That should be a two shot this time. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. The clock is slowly building up our damage. And it doesn't matter how much the enemy scale. As long as by default they are not able to poison us or burn us or do anything important. Uh, we don't care. We always outscale them. And uh, as I said, uh, whenever he summons a rabbit, we get a pot shot in. Now is a good chance to assassinate the ferret king. As he isn't even doing anything. I mean, this guy's the third king. Oh, no, that's the badger boss. Okay, I'm learning names, man. I'm learning names. This guy's toast. And this guy's gonna start getting hit. This thing is up to 50 damage for attack. Which, uh, yeah, I don't care about anymore about the summons. Now we go on the offensive. And this is now up to 54 attack. Which is pretty insane to me. And this is gonna be a good fight for a bunch of money. So I'm super happy. Uh, you know what? Let's assassinate here. And then continue. 25 damage each. We're dodging because we're a good old ninja. Imagine if we find another ninja tabby. Uh, ninja suit or ninja whatever it's called. Costume. Why is it the costume? Anyway, money. Ling, ling, ling. We're up to 28. Let's continue. I mean, we just fought this fight, so by definition we can beat it again. 
So let's go smacaroniing. And now he's gonna summon. And now we're gonna two shot the summon. Actually, you know what? We can just assassinate here. I mean, not right now, but now he's gonna summon. But in the same moment, I'm also gonna kill this guy. Actually, I don't... Oh, and this guy's shielding. Perfect, perfect. Everything is timing up perfectly. And I just need to kill the, the rabbit. And then uh, we should be able to maintain our posture here. So the rabbit is dead. And uh, now start smacking these guys' summons. And when I get it to a point where he can't summon in time... I will... Where, where, where is the summon going? Do you want to kiss me? Do you want to kiss me? By the way, in case you didn't know, the, the protagonist is, um, is a girl. Or a woman. I mean, I don't know the age, but it's definitely not a man because... Because they have even the little ribbon over here to indicate it. I really like the fact that this game isn't like you have a whole bow tie in your head just to make sure, you know, the, the devs are not, we have to make sure that everybody sees that it's a woman. No, it's like, we're gonna just put a little bow over there and if uh, and if somebody sees it, then it's just a notion that it's a woman, you know. I um, I enjoy that. Like, it's, uh, by, by default, it's pretty neutral what the mouse is, but they added a very little bow to just indicate the, you know, the femininity without um, screaming about it. Let's, uh, okay, we got a level here, which is three spaces. Am I still on the old backpack size? It feels like I'm a bit off here. I don't know what's happening. Let's put this like here. And now we're like hearing, obviously, we're going to take that. Obviously, we got a legendary amulet. Is there a shop? Nope. So this is pretty much useless. So it's going to break instantly. What is this? Two energy, four, six in damage, too slow. Yeah, we're going to take these. I know that's going to break instantly, but it's still going to give us one energy in the very first turn. So might as well go for the living shadow fight, as that is the hardest fight around here, at least under my opinion. I mean, maybe the Ulm fight is harder. Yeah, maybe the Ulm fight is a bit harder. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, we are lucky enough to the one that we are attacking. Well, lucky and lucky, it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, these guys will need to be uh, assassinated with money. I don't want to get hit. We lost a bit of money here, but at the end of the day, we gained back. Why would I take this? Let's make opponent weaker and also energy, I would say. What is this? This is a golden shiv. I'm not going to use that. I could use it, but I'm not. Let's... Uh... Wait a minute. Why not? Why not? What am I talking about? Give me the golden shiv. This thing, now look where it is. Six damage already. Six damage, just like that. With one item, literally, six damage. Love it. Let's continue. Not that six damage is a lot. Let's go to the own fight. Uh, actually, let's go here because I do have the energy right now. This is also a very dangerous fight, but not for us. Because obviously, uh, it doesn't matter if the opponents scale rage for the rest of the universe uh, until the heat death of the universe, because at the end of the day, we will always, always dodge two attacks. Okay, I cannot do a small hit here, so... Yeah, like, I, I could not get the great luck from this thing. Oh, generates two gold. Oh, I know. I want that. <laughs> I'm stupid. I'm sorry, guys. I thought this was a different shiv. I thought it was the lucky shiv. This is actually good. 3d4 damage. You know what? We're gonna slow play this. I'm gonna slow play this until I get the kill with a shiv. 8 damage per turn. Uh, I mean, he has a shield. So, the shield is 27 both together. This is 3d5. It's a bit too much. This is 26, though. Yeah, so I can do this. And then this. Nice. We, we we spend one coin to gain two coins. I know it's not a crazy increase in money, but it is something, you know. It is something. It does help. Uh, let's go again to the boss. Once again, gaining money and uh, in general gaining things is good. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. Gaining things is good. You heard it here first, folks. You heard it here first. Okay, I think we can do enough to assassinate the back line. One, two, three... Well, I guess we cannot do enough. 26. Well, I want to assassinate with the dagger, but whatever. Whatevs. Whatevs. Okay. This guy's toast. Let's start smacking the front line. Is this non summon? Yeah, this is non summon. Pretty sad, but it is what it is. Okay, he's gonna summon. Now is a good chance to go for the boss. As uh, he, both of them are gonna attack. I still have three dodges. And now the boss doesn't even have that much life. At the end of the day, he's gonna summon again, but it's not gonna be fast enough. I think we're gonna be faster on the uptake. Are we? 43 times 3 is not gonna be enough, so let's assassinate here. At least based on my math. I'm gonna see now, actually. We're gonna see now. We're gonna see now if it would have been enough. Okay, it would not have been enough, so I stand correct. 
I stand correct. <laughs> Not I stand corrected, I stand correct. Wait, this is doing 13 damage? What? Okay, now we can do this and this. Very nice. Once again, we spend a coin to gain two and just be done with the fight. Can I get a key? Thank you very much. Do I care about the poison? Mm, I should. But at the end of the day, I can just spam all my money. If I see that somebody's about to poison me and it's dangerous, I just throw away all my money and the opponents won't really survive. So uh, that, that's not an issue. Let's go here. You know, I would enjoy a bit more energy, honestly speaking. Explosion is good. Yes, 12 damage is good. But at the end of the day, one more energy is about, I don't know, 20 damage. Because of the weapon. Yeah, like the weapon by default does 18 damage. So one more energy is going to be more than 20. Oh, we are at the final boss. I did not even realize. Uh, well, we can use our super axe here to just assassinate. And it isn't even the one that has the um, spikes or whatever it's called. So it's going to be really easy. <laughs> whatever it's called. It's called spikes. <laughs> Uh, it's not the guy that has spikes or whatever that is. <laughs> what, what is that? It spikes. Okay. And let's assassinate here. I can handle the flame. I just said that flames do actually get blocked by dodge. So uh, I can easily just maintain a very steady attack pattern here. And uh, now that this thing is scaling up. Like now that my weapon is actually scaling up. Both of them that is. We also start getting damage slowly. Oh, we found a letter. Letter is actually good with this because you can pass like a letter through the Orksong Axe and gain a bunch of damage by doing that. But uh, I don't think it's that good because Orksong Axe still continues gaining damage for every adjacent item. And once again, we're pretty much damage immune here. There is no danger to us whatsoever. I really enjoy the fact that Dodge dodges flames, although it doesn't really make thematic sense. But I do enjoy the fact that that is happening. By the way, I was thinking about how they could rebalance um, Poison. I think what they should do is they should just... The only change they should do for poison is that it already starts at the start of the fight. The only change they should do is make it so that it hits you after you gain armor for free. So that would give like a, a effect that seemingly the poison corrodes your armor, you know. Something like that would be the idea behind that. Can I do... I, I can't do non-lethal here so that gets toast. So um, yeah, like you get your armor, then uh, the poison corrodes it. And then if you have shielding, you can shield on top of that. Uh, we've got two spaces. I would say let's go with these two because why not? Not that it really matters. Uh, I'm not using shields. I am using consumables, but eh. Well, let's take this just because it's a relic and might as well sell it. I'm not going to take the hourglass, let's be honest. I'm also going to take the triple mana stone. Why not? Continue in endless because we always continue endless. Now, this run is definitely, definitely going to die at some point. Uh, and that point is going to be when opponents curse us. <laughs> um, you know what? I actually am willing to take the curse just for the money. So, I uh, for the XP, for the XP. Okay, we're gonna take the curse. Okay, now we're gonna go like smack, smack, smack. Two damage. Wait, did I not use this previously? Oh, seven damage. 19, 26. No. Okay, none of these will attack us anyway. Fast. This guy's gonna get poisoned, and then I'm gonna use the sieve next turn and get it for free. So, I'm gonna go whoop money. We're gonna use this so I can make place for the next curse. This is also gonna survive, and it's also gonna become money. <laughs> Everything is going perfectly. Bye bye. And your money. Money, money, money. Ding, 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 ding. 77 coinage. Super rich. What happens to this rogue? Plus two damage. Obviously. Let's go here. Let's go here. It's hitting. Uh, you know what? Let's make it hit specifically the tilted sword. Uh, can I reorganize in a better way? Theoretically, I can put this there and put the shift next to it. Yeah, I think that's better. Let's go here. No, no, no. It's not better because this hits all three of them. Yeah, I was thinking about somehow having the shift in the corner. Uh, yeah. I think that's it. I think that is it. These are still hitting both of them. I mean, I could also have this here, for example. But, eh, whatever, man. Whatever. I'm pretty sure there are people, once again, in the comments, being able to win max even better. But I don't think it really matters. Like, we already have achieved infinite. Uh, infinite. And this mode. I really enjoy, like, chilling in this game. I'm not, uh, I'm not about... I am about min-maxing as of the aspect of creating a build that is fun, insane, and, you know, in general, unique. But about the aspect of just trying to create, uh, I don't know, let's hit here, 7 and 3 is 10. Okay, this is still alive. So we can smack over there. Very nice, we are removing, you know, regen. He's gonna regen up, but it won't really matter. Oh, he didn't regen up. Well, money, money, money. Dun, 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 dun. And he's dead from poison. Or the heal's gonna hit there first. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. I can just gain money, 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 money. 
Okay, we got more money, Bo. So as I was saying, yeah, I am all for min-maxing, you know. Oh, that's really good. Okay, can I get the golden bar, please? Can I get the golden bar, please? How it so happens that I'm down to the 50-50? You know what? I'm not even going to start with 50-50, but I'm going to first do this. Then I'm going to go... Boom. Easy loss. Easy loss. Whatever. Let us continue. Up. Uh, well, we're going to do literally the same thing. Uh, because these opponents can literally not damage us, no matter what they do. 25 damage here. And then another 7. Yeah, literally the exact same thing. Like, literally the exact same fight. I don't even need to, to think about it. This guy's going to survive with 2. This guy's going to survive with a bit more. We're going to smack here, get the coinage. We're going to do hop. Then we're going to look at this. We're going to go hop. Then he's going to heal. Nope, he's dead. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> literally the same fight. It does not do it literally the same. <laughs> Uh, okay, not this. I don't care about those. Let's continue once again. This guy's gonna about to curse. He's about to. She's it. The B. You know what? Do I want to deal with the curse? Do I want to deal with the curse? Honestly, I don't really want to deal with the curse. Let's get rid of the B. This guy's gonna leave. It is what it is. I don't see us uh, living enough to gain the level. I don't see us surviving enough. See us most likely die. Oh, we got a little butcher, um, cleaver, butcher. <laughs> yeah, butchers do use cleavers, but <laughs> that was not a butcher. <laughs> Imagine I have a butcher in my backpack, and you send him out and he uses the cleavers. Uh, okay, we definitely need to burst one of these three down for sure, as fast as possible, because three opponents attacking us at the same time is not viable, not sustainable, not viable. I don't even know. Uh, seven damage plus five. Okay, brother line alive. We're gonna get hit once. Tries to heal, won't be fast enough. Got assassinated. Smack, 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 smack. Yep, we reduce the region very quickly. I don't know why the candle reduces region, by the way. I, was, I would assume that it would, um, you know, reduce something else. Like, uh, I don't know, rage. You know, anything. I thought the candle would make more sense as a defensive option. Like, in general, defensive option. Removes uh, spikes, removes um, defensive. Would that be defensive? Yeah. Like, it's protection, protection for yourself, right? So that you don't get hit. So it would make more sense to me. By the way, we found uh, this, uh, the thing that I wanted. This is literally why I was keeping the the, the two mana here. Uh, I think we're going to throw this away. Is there a shop? There is a shop, but I think I'm going to throw this away. And uh, also this. Because, yeah, poison and all, nice, but who cares? And then I would say I put this here plus this. And now I can pull this back because I thought about it for half a sec. And I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're gonna go with this. I mean, this is like the, the pocket option. This is I spam it. I, do, I know that it will do more damage if I buff it too, but I don't really care about it that much. And I'm using this a lot more often and consistently. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go with what we have. Let's go here to sell the relic. Let's not forget to sell the relic. Nope. Let's, uh, where's the relic? Here, let's go sell the relic. We gain a bit of money. For another um, Tilted Sword. The blades. <laughs> Wouldn't it be, wait a minute. You can do that, right? Whoa, that, this looks awesome. I love it. But you cannot decide what's uh, what's below. Oh, now it's like uh, I'm uh, now it's like I'm a cook or something. I love the fact that you can do this. I love it. I love it. I love it. Which one is what? This is the five. This is the twenty. Okay, you can keep your keep your little tricks. Uh, yeah. I mean, let's go. This uh, this is how we have the setup. We how we had the setup. I don't think I changed anything. Let's go event. This is gonna be the rage event. Close enough. I don't need any of these. Let's test if the very left is still the very left because some things seem to change. Okay, the very left seems to still be the very left. The very right is the second one. The very left is the first one. I need to find a bit of tips and tricks here how to do this. Let's get 10 max HP because why not? I like how even if you're full life, it still does not heal you that 10 max HP that it provides you with. One, two, three. And now we go hop, hop, hop. 312 life. That is not safe for us. <laughs> By the way, I'm seeing the new characters that they're thinking about introducing. By the way, we got a rooftop. No, man, they're insane. I'm really excited about the future of this game. Like, I'm really excited about the future of this game. They're thinking about characters that have, like... By the way, let's take the 25 armor. It's better than 10 health. In my opinion. Is this also more damage? Yeah, let's forget this for a moment. <laughs> let's go with even more damage. No key here, right? Yeah, no key. What was I saying? Yeah, the new characters. Man, they are insane. If, if you look them up, if you look what they're saying about the classes and what they're thinking about doing. First of all, they're thinking about doing like a character that has a huge backpack, the axolotl. 
okay it's gonna have like a huge backpack but every turn you lose like one spot it, it becomes dried out like, uh, supposedly the backpack is like um by the way i should have done, done this the opposite way but whatever uh, the backpack is like a huge water bubble and every turn that passes the water slowly you know uh, dehydrates i guess and uh, you have to uh, like every spot that is dehydrated and you have an item inside of it does uh, does does is disables the item you don't lose it you just it just disables your item and then you have at the top left uh, instead of having scratch you will have a two energy option not a one energy option a two energy option that uh, you know what let's do oak song x plus dagger very nice so you will have like two energy and uh, with that two energy you can uh, refresh your bag which is insane in my opinion, as an idea, like, you have a huge bag, but that system exists. And then if you also refresh your bag, something also happens, which I right now don't recall. Like, it's not only that it refreshes your bag, but it also does something. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, I remembered. Every every item that is inside of the water area is, uh, is, is considered connected, okay? So pretty much your whole bag is considered to be connected with each other. Connected for the for these things, by the way. Conductive connected for mana stones. Okay. And then the character. Oh, by the way, the, the re okay, let me let me actually just say the character from the beginning because I'm like mixing up my words and maybe people don't understand what I'm saying. First thing, huge bag, okay, like bigger than the normal one. Second thing, everything is inside water, a water bubble, and every time a, a turn passes, the water bubble slowly shrinks. By the way, we got a problem here. This guy's poisoning us. Uh I think we need to go for an assassination plan. I think this is a good chance to just send it. Yeah, but let's just send it, just send it. Just send the money off and be done with this. Very nice. Nice. So, huge water bug. Everything inside the water is connected as if it's a mana item. Everything that's outside the water... Oh, what is this? Plus to damage this row against... Plus six damage to these to every turn. I think plus six damage to these two returns better. Obviously, this is completely stupid. So, uh, let's throw away this. I mean, I can also throw away one lucky ring. Let's throw away one lucky ring. Okay, I think one lucky ring is enough. Okay, let's continue. Uh, everything inside your bag is connected through the water, as if it's mana stone. You begin with a mana stone. Like, you begin with a triple mana stone. It's like a spell character, pretty much. And your ability costs two energy and two uh, mana. Okay, that is the idea of that character. And I think it's insane. Like, imagine if you get a character like that. In my mind, it's, it sounds so insane. Having, like, such a u completely unique character. Like, he starts with mana. He, he needs to use mana to uh, get his ability done. And you have to do it pretty often. Because, you know, your uh, backpack is going to dehydrate. But whatever inside of there is connected. So you don't really need to care about actually connecting things. So the game even gives you, like, the bonus benefit of, you know, being a mage. Like, the whole idea sounds so insane to me and like so fun maybe a bit powerful but does it matter that it's powerful the important part is that it's fun and as i have said like a few times already another character that they have already mentioned is gonna get added to the game uh let's smack this guy now until this guy loses the shield uh they're gonna add to the game is like a character that has five pets and instead of having one big bag, you will have five different bags and you will need to uh, use the pets. You know, you need to swap between the pets or something like you can only have two pets active plus your mini bag, three mini. So you will have like three mini bags and uh, then you can like uh, use the instead of scratch, it will have like switch pets as an option. Found the police, not that we need it. I'm um, this comic plus damage. Honestly, I'm still searching for a better weapon than the sword. No joke, I can definitely find a better weapon than the tinted sword, tilted sword. Like this, this thing just scales a smidge. It, it isn't really, it isn't really something crazy. Um, so yeah, and instead of having, as I said, one big backpack, you have three smaller ones. But in reality, you will have five smaller ones, and you can only have three out of the five active. And with the scratch ability, you will be able to uh, change the um, change which of the things you use is active. You know, that, that sounds also insane to me. Which one of your pets is active is what I tried to say. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited. And then I also saw, like, some other characters that were that were part of the competition but lost. And even those were insane. Like, one of them was... The only one I remember is... There was somebody that is, like, a botanist or something. And uh, the whole idea is that you have plants inside your bag that provide passives and passive effects. 
uh, but you cannot move them. You are allowed to move them if you want to, but then they get removed from the bag. Like, imagine a plant just appears over here at the piggy bank, okay? And that plant provides you with, um, I don't know, I'm they, they have not said numbers, but I'm just going to give my own examples, okay? So let's say there is a plant here that provides you with one region uh, every turn, okay? Maybe two region, because one region is like kitty numbers. Um, next thing, like, after three or four fights, that plant increases in size, so it just starts creeping up on your whole uh, map, you know, area of, you know, your area, and then it, instead of providing you, like, two region, it provides five region, but still it keeps an area locked, and if you try to move it, you literally lose it, like, it's, it's, you either let it there to ride, to, to grow, or you literally lose it, by the way, we're gonna use a bit of money here, and, uh, and then, like, after, I don't know, after another five fights, just imagine that it, again, increases into a triple size, and then instead of providing five region, it provides eight or something, you know? And then after that, it raises even more to a four size, and then it provides, like, ten region, you know? It starts going up and up and up. Or, or you know, a different plan that provides uh, strength. By the way, I didn't really find anything that I care about there. I was looking, but it didn't matter. I, I found the poison item, but at the end of the day, I didn't really... I decided I, want, I don't want to go with it. So, yeah, and then if you, for some reason, want to, you know, remove the plant because you need to have room for something else, then you lose the plant completely. You're like, okay, time to throw the plant away. I think that would be insane. Like, in general, all these ideas really sounded insane to me. And, man, I'm really, really, really excited about the future of this game. I really hope they're going to add a character a pretty time soon because the moment that happens is pretty much the moment that I think the game is going to, like, take off. It's going to be the, the key point of everybody you know watching and playing this game realizing that oh man look what they did and then it's just gonna you know explode as a game my opinion my opinion might be wrong but I i'm pretty confident about this the, the things i'm saying i'm pretty sure that that's what's gonna happen like the moment that, that's the thing when a game is viral like when a game is super viral the moment a huge thing happens it, exp it, it, it grows exponential. And this game right now is definitely viral. Like, a lot of people are playing this. So, um, if they do, like, a huge thing, like adding a new character right now... Because, I mean, imagine this thing. The moment... Uh, different item of the same rarity, right? Different item of the same rarity. I don't care about you. Uh, the moment this game got this bigger patch... Man, do you know how many... Like, even I can see it even from my own channel, right? Just because of the fact that they added a bigger pack pack... I got so many more views. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Chef's hat. So, I think I think those two go hand to hand, right? Like, YouTube channels that are not extremely huge. Because, obviously, you can understand uh, just by watching, uh, I don't know, Markiplier or somebody else if a game is super viral or not. Because if they play a game, like, everybody's gonna see it regardless. It doesn't matter if the game is viral or not. But on smaller YouTubers, when you see them, you know, play a game and they get a bunch of views, then most of the time that means that the game is pretty viral. And uh, I think this game is pretty viral. <laughs> I mean, what can I say? So right now is a very good chance for them to, uh, as I said, try to uh, push as much content out as possible before, uh, you know, the hype dies down. And uh, after you get to a point where the game like super explodes, because the game already has exploded enough, then, uh, then you can just start slowly continuing patching, but just, you know, reduce the speed a bit. But I still believe the best thing they can do is put out content in a rate that people are not fast enough to satiate their hunger, right? So, you, like, right now it would be a very good chance to push out a new character because people would all uh, people are still playing with a bigger bag, right? So pushing out a new character would be a really good time right now. And then after, don't wait like a month or something, like after a week or two, instantly drop, uh, maybe not a week, but like two weeks later, instantly drop the second character. Or maybe even one week, you know, if you can do it, if you can actually use the resources you have for you, you know, if, if you can use the resources you have, then um, yes, do it even like one week later, just straight up. Uh, uh oh, this is a fight that actually, who cares? This is a very easy fight. We can just boop and pass. That's how we're gonna fight this fight. I don't need to care about this. Yeah. So even like one week later, imagine like this scenario. What 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 would you imagine would happen if they if in one week they launch a new character and then one week later they launch another new character? What do you think would happen? Do you think the game will explode or do you think, ah, people will stop caring about it? I'm pretty sure the game will explode. By the way, I lost life here. I made a mistake, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Like, and that's the thing. You have to, you have to push your, uh, push your, not your luck, push your luck. <laughs> you have to take the wins. Give me a second because I might need to leave. Okay, I don't actually need to leave. 
Let's continue this. Uh, the re I have a I have a time thing. I I will need to leave the video at some point. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Like these following fights. Uh, oh man, I'm I'm super rich, man. This run still has a bit to go for it. <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> that is not good. Maybe I should lose on purpose. No, I'm not gonna lose on purpose. I'm not gonna do that. Let's continue. Smackaroni and train. Okay, let's continue. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm just gonna save the run and then continue the like the run later. Oh, we found the the teddy bear. Sift, why are you still keeping the lucky rings? Because I still have not found a good legendary weapon, man. I still want Doru. I still want Doru. I know Doru will uh, destroy my placement, but uh, Doru is definitely going to increase our damage enough so that this goes a bit faster. And at the end of the day, like my only real downside is the fact that I don't scale a lot, and I don't. Oh, I also don't have a burst. Like I, I have none of the two. Actually, no, I do have burst. I do have burst, but I only have a one-time burst, which is this Oxfang Sang times 156, which will continue increasing. So as long as I do have core money, I will not die. So I can guarantee you that we will die after all our money is gone. Like before our money is gone, by definition, we cannot lose. Because I just spend all the money into the Oxong Sang and uh, Oxong Song and do like 2000 damage in a turn. So no, no matter what happens, as long as I have money, I'm alive. The moment I lose the money, that moment is when we die. But if, if an opponent uh, does uh, 200 damage to you, it doesn't matter if you have money. Well, it does, because even if they do 200 damage to us, I can still do 2,000 damage to them before they do to us. And if they actually survive the hit, then that means my money will run out, right? Like, uh, <laughs> by definition, once again, uh, I will need to run out of money to not be able to attack. Okay, very nice. Let's continue. <laughs> we got a duct tape. Oh, we got a duct tape. Where will I put this thing? <laughs> okay, let's take the duct tape, obviously. Uh, where will I put it, though? That's like a serious question now. And what will I use it for? I could put it like here. And now this thing is connected to a few more things. Now it does more damage. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's it pretty much. Let's put it here for the same reason. No, that's uh, that's a bit stupid. I could also put it... I mean, this is a very good spot. Is it? It's not really a good spot. I mean, now this is hitting at least this thing. But... The duct tape is... What else could I do? If I put this in the duct tape... And then put this like here... Something like this... Something like... Yeah, yeah, now this hits this, this hits this, this hits the duct tape, all of these hits the duct tape. This also hits the duct tape, by the way, which is really good. This does not hit the duct tape, but it doesn't really matter. Can I push my ninja tabby in a different spot? Yeah, this up here. That's a different spot. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Now I can have this here so it hits the duct tape. That's good. I could have done that without switching places. Wait a minute. Why did I do it then? Da -da 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 -da. Nobody knows. Uh, doesn't matter though. This is still a good uh, setup here. Yep, I think we're good. I think we're good. I really enjoy the fact that we found the duct tape, by the way. I, I, I didn't sound that excited. Yes, but... I'm super happy about it. Uh, did I make a mistake? No, I don't think so. Let's continue onward. Now, uh, now this thing also hits through the duct tape, the Oxong Axe. And uh, yeah, I think we increase our damage by a lot just by the one duct tape. Obviously, because duct tape is most likely the best weapon in the game. And here we got the 6,000 HP opponent. So uh, we are closing into, you know, danger territory. <laughs> panic, 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 panic. Uh, although we're still pretty safe-ish for a bit. But for now, I mean, for now, <laughs> I was I was about to say, but for now, no, there is not, but for now, uh, I will smack the, the boss here because I can guarantee you I'm not going to do a thousand damage and then up on top of that another 6,000. So uh, the moment another opponent spawns, which is the next, literally the next round, I will try to blast through with the Oxong Axe. And uh, at that point, we will start taking damage, which, um, yeah, I, I, I don't accept. So uh, let's begin. Let's begin smacking. Let's begin smacking. Right now I still have three dodges, so I will make sure that I'm not gonna use all my money uh, completely. I will leave the opponent with, I don't know, 100 life or something. As you see, we can easily do 5,000 damage in a turn with the money machine. I got this, 96, 97, 98, 99. <laughs> the power of... The power of the... the money, I guess, the Oxong X, I don't know. Okay, 123 is enough, we can stop here. You guys can attack us. Yep, dodge, 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 doesn't matter. Okay, here we're gonna go with 76. 
How much do you do? 51. That's not enough. How do you do? 118. Well, I guess uh, I guess this guy's toast and I'm not able to make money out of him. Well, it is what it is. 57. Yeah, I, I can't make money out of him somehow. And uh, these guys are going to leave. And we're like 50 coins down the drain, but the run is still alive. I'm pretty sure we will die at the final boss. Okay, these are trash. We're going to continue. This is good, though. Three energy is good. Uh, this is two damage to all of them. This is four damage to all of them. So we're going to go with the four damage to all of them. This is three damage to one. I could have this here to give three damage to all. But I prefer four damage to all, you know, just saying. Um, yeah, I mean, I could put this here in the middle so that it buffs these two and not the clear this thing. That should be better. I mean, I can do this. This definitely can go here because it's hitting them from the corner. And then I can actually do this. Yeah, that, that might be better. I lose a bit of damage on the Golden Shiv, but I do gain more damage on the Tilted Sword. Like, I gain three more damage on the Tilted Sword and I lose one damage on the Golden Shiv. I think it's worth it. Let's, uh, let's continue. Do we continue? I think this is better, because now this hits the Duct Tape, which uh, also hits the Golden Shiv. Yep, I think we improved our damage, actually, if anything. So, uh, let's continue. People screaming on their screens that I just threw away a plus 2 damage, which I could have had here and threw away Lucky Ring, I'm pretty sure. Which I should have done. But uh, whatever, man, whatever. I, I really should have just thrown away Lucky Ring to put the plus 2 damage on the corner. That, that was a mistake. I can I can concede that fact. I, I can take that as a actual yes. Yes, that was a mistake. But it doesn't really matter that much. We're gonna die in a moment anyway. Uh, okay, we can block both of these. But we cannot block this guy's curse. So we're gonna wait one turn. And then we're gonna blast off our damage strikes. Yep. Uh, which which then it's, it's gonna be the next turn pretty much. The reason I'm waiting for a turn to blast off is because I want to get the Ring of Doom damage as to as many as possible before I do the blast off. And uh, I think the time has come to spawn attacks. Yep, I think the time. I don't want to get the poison. I also don't want to get the curse. So might as well just start smacking and just see how this goes. Now if I get an assassination, if I'm lucky enough to get an assassination, I should have not attacked with the uh, blade before I saw if I can get an assassination. 34. Okay, this does not an assassination. Yeah, for example, I could have attacked for 42. Yeah, exactly. I could have attacked for 52 for before and then have the opponent be low enough to assassinate. I don't think those two coins are going to make the difference, by the way. Oh, well, still the same. I cannot really assassinate. Yeah, we lost a bit of coinage there. Two levels. Nice. Let's go this side. Maybe we're going to get a bit more energy. I don't need anything else. Well, we got like a ring. Let's go. Let's go. This is spikes useless. This is curse. Ooh, let's go curses. <laughs> let's go see what we get. I could have taken the curse and sell it. No. Let's take a healing. Might as well just use it right away. Snake and all. The same fight. Well. <laughs> that's a problem. That's a problem. Because. Oh, it's not the same fight. What am I even talking about? The Olm is a joke. The the the, the Olm, yeah, the Olm is a joke. The snake is a problem. Okay, now this time I'm not gonna do this wrong. This time I am actually gonna bring him down to 100 life and then see and try to hit him with the blade, the money blade. 145, 49, 70. Okay, and now 49 plus 34. 49, like about 50. Yeah, that's enough. Boop, done. Nice, we got the perfect assassination. Now this guy obviously cannot even remotely kill us. So we're just gonna be spamming attacks here. And also a bit of my energy. Yeah, I did not do that in the right order, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. Now this does 62 times 3, which is 100 something. Plus the shiv. We're doing about 200 damage per turn. I'm obviously not going to spend my money. I know this will take a minute here. It's going to take a hot minute, but still, it's going to be whatever it's going to be. So yeah, I'm really excited about this game, man. I don't know. I don't know what it is. They, they really hit the nail on the coffin in any, everything they're doing. I'm really, really excited about this, and I'm also really happy how they're playing this. Like, instead of trying to uh, at all balance the game right now, they're just like, they are balancing once in a while, like, they are changing things here and there, like, they change the mana cost, they change the numbers, they do that. But they're not straight up butchering things, because at the end of the day, they're not actually breaking the combos, right? They made the cleavers cost two energy, yes, but they did not actually destroy the combo of, uh, you know, the shield combo that you can do with them. They even added, like, the duct tape. 
and instead of literally retracting it because oh wait a minute we just created an insane powerful busted broken item why why did we do that yeah instead of going that route they went the opposite route <laughs> they went the route of you know what um we're just gonna make it legendary because it's actually busted and uh yeah th that's it that's it that's it for balance so let's continue you know as simple as that they're like you know what just make them find it uh, more rarely and when they find it, it's going to be another busted run. It's going to be another busted thing. It's going to be another fun busted thing, you know. That, that's the simplest method, man. The simplest method. Arkham's, Arkham's Razor or something like that, I would say. Let's continue uh, attacking here. Uh, let's also... Give me a sec, because I'm a bit anxious about the fact of... Uh, actually, you know what? I can do that with two hands. It's not really that hard. Just continue spamming here while I'm checking my messages, because I'm a bit anxious that I might be late. Wait, what? I'm not late? By the way, I lost money because of the way I did these and these attacks. Imagine if we... Oh, oh that was a mistake. Yeah, that, that, that attack was a mistake. Sift making mistakes. Unbelievable. <laughs> Although, honestly, thinking that is not actually what I'm known for. I'm not actually known for making mistakes. Ha ha ha, that's good. I'm a, I'm a good player, man. I feel good about myself. Everybody should feel good about themselves, by the way. Let's continue. To end a little bit. Let's continue. By the way, I could have had this energy in there. Yeah, I could use that energy. Now that I think about it. <laughs> now that I actually think about it. I can have this energy in this corner. And then this Ring of Doom somewhere else. Like, I can have the Ring of Doom in another corner or something. It isn't really that hard to find a place to put it in. I mean, it is going to be hard. Actually, I can just pull everything down one spot. And then pull these up. And uh, yeah, I can, I can just make room for everything. I think that's possible. I think that's possible. Let's 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 gain a bit more energy. Why not? It's gonna increase my damage anyway. That's gonna do a big difference, but still, it's gonna increase my damage. And increasing your damage is important. Pass. I still don't believe that we're playing with a tilted sword, by the way. <laughs> like it, it's it's so anticlimactic as a weapon. It's so meh. Nice. We got the coinage. Very nice. I got another cleaver. Okay, let's pull everything down one spot and like transfer the others up. So this goes up. Okay, I do remember like. First, first thing we're gonna do is just pull everything down one spot. Oh, no, 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 no. That, that's gonna be bad. Okay, let's clear this row. Let's just have it like this so I remember how we had it. And I'm gonna be like, boom, 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 boom. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Exactly. Okay, done. So this should literally be the same thing. I don't see how this could possibly be not the same thing. And now we're gonna do this. It's still hitting the same thing. Okay, we're gonna put these in the corner. We're gonna put this here. And now I'm not forced to have exactly here something, because previously I was forced to have the Ring of Doom. I can have this here, I can throw this out, and this can be here. And I think we got a better layout like this, I'm pretty sure. I mean, this is guaranteed a better layout. And now I can also have maybe a gem connected to Tilted Sword from above, which I didn't even realize. Um, yeah, I didn't even realize up to this point. So let's continue. Straight up continue. <sighs> Unknown event, let's go. Okay, that's useless. A rare item of the same type. I mean, this says mana stone common. If I take this, it's gonna become like either a bow or a... <laughs> Never mind. It's gonna either become a bow, the bo the mana stone bow, or it's gonna become the structure. You know what? I, I don't wanna fight anymore. I just wanna continue. I just wanna see how deep we can get. I mean, this is literally gonna be the same fight, and it's gonna cost me a bunch of money to go through it. So let's actually not spend money on fights that we don't need to. We have only 64 attacks left on the axe. And we only gain like... Oh, this is death. Yeah, the, these guys always have a lot of life. It's over. It's over. 9,000. Okay, sorry. Sorry for the meme. Sorry for the joke. Let's continue. No, I made a mistake. Ah. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We just lost 6 damage. So I, I was going to use the Oxfam Access Train anyway. We need to use it because this guy's gonna give us a curse and the curse is gonna do like 40 damage to us. Do we need do we want to take 40 damage from a curse? I don't think so. But if why don't you first take the curse and then use the Octomax? Guys, you're gonna see in a moment. By the way, the best thing the best possible thing we could have gotten would be the knife belt thing. Let's see down here, bop bop bop. Let's try to get the coinage if possible. This does 3D damage. Okay. 44 and 30. We can do 70 something. 44 and 30. Uh, let's say that this is 40 and this is 30. It should be 70 damage. 
but this is two less and this is two more so theoretically it's two more i can attack with this one no i cannot okay th this is not doable yep literally not doable well that's not good uh, blast through the rest of my money i mean might as well do it next turn okay blast through the rest of the money okay money done okay it's still happening maybe i don't know would this have done a difference would this have done a difference i take 22 i think it would have done a difference i think it would have i'm not exactly sure if it would have i think i think it would have i'm pre yeah i'm pretty confident at this point it would have definitely done a difference it would have guaranteed man misplays ah, i'm we're gonna lose because i made a mistake damn reorganization man damn damn this rom died just because of my mistakes I'm so frustrated. I'm, you know what? I'm not gonna stay frustrated. I'm just gonna chill. I'm just gonna be like, you know, mistakes happen. Here, I'm gonna take this. It's gonna destroy like half my bag, but I can't really do anything. That's the best choice. Throw away the lucky like, rings. Throw away the, the energy, but uh, anything else would be worse for sure. Oof. Oof. We got destroyed, man. We got destroyed. Yeah, like 83 life. That, that definitely would have made a difference. That definitely would have made a difference. Oof, oof, that was the biggest oof ever. What is this? I coin, are you kidding right now? Oof. Oof. And now I can't even, I mean, here I can connect them, but... I'm so sad, guys. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You know why it doesn't matter? We're gonna go to the home fight. I mean, it does matter because we could have beaten this and now we can no longer beat it because I don't have enough dodge. So yeah, it does matter. But at the end of the day, would it really, really matter? Like, let's be serious. This is the room that we would die on. If not in this fight, you know what? I want to see the rest of the map for a moment. Ulm against Fire Gecko. Okay, this is Death Sentence. I could have easily beaten the Ulm fight. So I could have gone through this room. I could have easily gone through this room if I didn't make the misplay. You know what? Let me actually rerun this just because I want to get to the boss. Just because I want to get the boss. Let's actually rerun this. I think there is no reason to lose just because of a stupid mistake of mine. So, uh, let's just rerun this. Maybe I'm gonna go back to where it was. Like, literally here. Oh, they changed where it saves. Oh, it does actually... Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. This happened on the south of the room. Ah, it, it isn't really that bad. Oh, oh, sorry, 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 guys. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I hope you guys don't really mind me trying this again. But if this is borderline cheating. Blah, 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 blah. No, guys, I mean, the run is dead anyway. Like... We're gonna run out of money after this fight, and then and then it's gonna be uh, it's either today or tomorrow. I'm gonna die, you know. It's not like oh the big difference. Oh, Sift is cheating. Oh no, look at this. Once again, we're gonna still run out of money, but the only thing that's not gonna happen is that we're not gonna also lose half my deck in the same time. Actually, now that I think about it, I think I made a mistake. I think I made a mistake. I think the mistake is that now I'm gonna throw. Oh wait a minute, did I did in the previous run I literally throw away the the clock? Yeah, man, that was a super dead run. 24 coins, let's continue, 260, 271, okay, instead of pressing this again and getting the same bad numbers, I'm gonna go 50, 51, 52, and money, okay, and now we're gonna wait for one more attack, because this is gonna give a plus 3 damage to the next one, up, 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 I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to, up, sorry for that, yeah, we're not gonna, obvi we're obviously not gonna be able to avoid, wait a minute, yeah, I'm about to say, do a different mistake, I think I should just blast through with mana after I... Oh, I should have taken the damage. Ah, I'm gonna come back to this fight. I'm gonna come back to this fight on my own time. I'm, I'm, I'm doing so many mistakes. So many mistakes. So many mistakes. So many mistakes. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding? Wait. What? Oh, enter and yeah, okay. Wait, what? Can you not open up the, the menu here? Is that a thing? Wait, What? You know what? I'm gonna come back to this fight. I should have taken that curse on me. I, I, guys, I'm, I'm getting super frustrated right now. Give me a sec. Okay, uh, guys, this is not fixable. I'm sorry. Like, they have made a new system that if you return to main menu and then, like, go back into the game, you're not allowed to go back to main menu again. They added this new system. You see, now, now I can no longer go to main menu. So uh, I had to close the game again and open it up again. And now this time I'm back to this spot. I mean, fair enough. Okay, fair enough. We should have died anyway. So it's on me. There is a healing here, which I have to go for. But obviously I cannot defeat two living shadows. Uh, I'm, I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I think I should just end the run out of principle. 
because I don't see there anything happening here. And I'm pretty sure a bunch of people want to see... I, I don't know, man. I killed the run. It it's not fun to me anymore. Like, I, I got full-on frustrated right now. I, I, I don't feel good about this anymore. I don't know. I, like... I hate that fight, by the way. I hate the bo I, I hate the, the double the double shadows fight. It's very it's a fight that you either one shot or you're gonna get cursed three times and you're gonna die or it's gonna kill your inventory. It's like it's not really a fun fight to die against, right? Because if you die from if you die example from I mean obviously it's never fun to die, right? It's never fun to die. Let's be honest. But uh, there are some fights, you know, like the this fight where you die because opponents gain the rage. There are there are fights that you die because poison. There are fights that you die because spikes, you know. But that specific fight. Kills you the slowest way possible, and it's very frustrating to fight against, right? Because it's like, cur you cannot block curses, like, no matter what your build is, you cannot block curses. You will get the curse and damage hit to you, and then the curse is so bad. Like, why, like, <laughs> I don't know, man, why does this curse, you know what, if this curse, if this curse had put three energy, remove it, then I think it would not be that frustrating. I think that's like my main uh, issue because this curse is literally unremovable and it's it's not fun. It's it just straight up, you know, your run is dead. Ho, 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 ho. You, you don't have enough energy. Mine, I obviously killed my own run because instead of losing life, I went ahead and took the curse, which was extremely stupid. But um, yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is, you know. We're going to continue here. We're going to go ahead and die from the final boss. I mean, at the end of the day, that was, that was what's going to happen anyway. But um, this is just a slow and painful death. I just did it because I know a bunch of people all the time are in the comments like, you could have survived if you did X, Y, Z, and uh, you made a huge... Like, I, I don't like losing because of mistakes. That's why I try to reset the fight. Like, in general, I really find it stupid to lose it on a mistake because at the end of the day, what you just do is you kill the run earlier than it would have died, and then you just don't get to see the rest of the run, right? Because that's what happens. It's a difference to die because of a boss killing you or because of your build not going good or because of enemies, you know, doing too much damage. That is, you know, a fair way to die. But uh, dying because you make a mistake, because you forgot to push a thing to the right, because uh, you, you accepted the curse instead of losing 50 damage. I don't know, man. I I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. It, it feels like the games that have the system of take back your action... Are, are exactly for that reason and i always enjoy when a game has that this game obviously does not have that this this game if you make a mistake it's a mistake it stays forever i mean that's also fair but um i don't know man it, it always comes down to the fact that this is a video game that you play on your own it's like a solo game so you can do whatever you want now obviously there are a bunch of people that believe that oh man this is cheating oh man this is challenge this is a, you're you, it's a, you man you you skip the you 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 avoid challenging yourself by doing that guys it's not always about challenge, it's also about fun, you know, having a broken build, having fun, having the gold, you know, it's it's not always about challenge, you know, and sometimes reverting a mistake of yours um, just to not lose the run is actually helpful, you know, <laughs> because continuing the run is what is fun and losing because, oops, I forgot to change this there or oops, I, uh, I'm by mistake, I mean, I, I didn't realize I should have lost life instead of, you know, accepting the curse, you know, things like these. You know, these are things that you can do a snap decision on. Now you might say, "Yo, Sift, it's your it's your fault, man. You did the snap decision. You could have just you, you could have just not taken it, man. It, it's on you. It's on you. You made the mistake. Yes, I made the mistake. But why is it acceptable that a person can make a mistake and want to take it back? Um, and it's not acceptable that he actually takes the mistake back. Like th that that's my philosophy on that. Like. Everybody accepts the fact that somebody can make a mistake, but nobody accepts the fact that the person making the mistake wants to take it back. Like, what? I want to take my mistake back. It's it's just literally a revert button. Like, just just cancel the mistake I did. Like, is it, is it really that hard of a concept to grasp? I don't think it is. I'm not talking about the devs, by the way. Now I'm just talking about the concept of if you make a mistake, revert your mistake and, you know, fix it. I'm talking only about that concept. Obviously... I'm not talking smack about the game not having a revert system or something like that. It would be nice if it had it, because sometimes, you know, some complex things happen. Right now, nothing complex is actually happening. But, you know, sometimes you want to have the revert system for curses and stuff or for your turn. But I don't know, man. I, I don't think, by the way, that this game should have had that. Like, this game doesn't really make sense to me to have um, you take back the action 
button. Although maybe it should, you know, turn-based turn combat games are easy to just snapshot the turn and be like, okay, uh, let's actually take the action back or, you know, revert to the start of the turn or something like that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're going to go to the boss now. We're going to die anyway. That's what I wanted to do, by the way. Like, uh, my, my plan was not to survive, okay? My plan was not to have a god build or something like that. No, my, go my plan was just to get to the boss. That's what I got frustrated. That's what I got, like, mad about the fact that I made this huge mistake. It's not about winning. It's about at least getting to the boss. By the way, I should not have hit him that much. I need for him to not have spikes. Okay, let's continue buffing. Oh, he also gains three regen per turn. That's not good. Smack him once, pass. Whoa, he summons two. Okay, that's uh, literally we just died. Yeah, that, that's it. We just died. That's it. That, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. I am okay with this. I am actually okay with this. But this is what I wanted to happen, right? I wanted to try to get to the boss and try to, you know, damage it and try to maybe beat it, you know? Just try. By the way, it doesn't matter that the enemy is getting up damage and that I'm hitting myself. It doesn't really matter. I just want to see how much damage I can do. If anything, I want to go down with my own ability, but eh, whatever, man, whatever. It's a bit, um, you know, we ended here on a sour note. I'm a bit sad about the fact that I didn't want to actually end on a sour note. I wanted to be positive all the time, but uh, that one mistake really changed my mindset. Um, it's... It's, it's part of my character. It's part of my character. When I do a mistake, I always get super frustrated. I'm like, why did I do this? What happened? Why? 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 It's always like this this why that, that, that clouds your judgment. It's like, why did I do this? Why? For what reason did I make this mistake? Like, you know, that thing. Uh, I, I'm really getting affected by it. I guess it's so tilted yeah i'm getting tilted easily i think by by mistakes mostly like by other things i don't get like uh, i i accepted to die i i had accepted that i will die to the boss i i had already accepted that but i got tilted by the fact that i made a mistake i forgot to push an item to the right that 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 thing you know the thing that you re uh, write in the comments like i was screaming at my screen for the energy you know that thing I don't want to do mistakes like these, and uh, it just frustrates me when I do. Anyway, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, the run was actually powerful, you know, we got to floor 18, which is really good, like, not a lot of runs get here. I really enjoyed the run in general, I hope you guys did not get frustrated by me, you know, be frustrating, like, I hope it. I did not transfer it to you, I hope you guys enjoyed the run in general, and um, yeah, I think that's going to be it. As always, thanks for all the Patreon and the membership supporters, and if you also want to help me, just drop a like, you know, algorithm and stuff, and you don't even need, need to pay anything for that, so yeah. That's it pretty much. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and yeah, maybe comment about below whatever you believe about these last few things I taught, uh, uh, said, right? About the mistakes, about the becoming tilted, about, you know, the frustration of it, about, uh, I guess, reverting your mistakes, all of that. Like, I would like to hear some opinions on all of these things. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, thanks for watching and see you guys around.